What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. I am Nintendo Dog. If this is your first time here, uh, subscribe so you don't miss any more of my other videos. This is technically my first Wii, Wii Sports. It's going to be a lot of that. Uh, Switch Sports video. And this one is how to bowl completely, like a whole rundown. Everything I do, uh, everything you need to do, uh, unless I'm going against you. I don't really care if you put these into action but um first before we go on over to the tv and stuff uh basically we need to talk about the basics of bowling uh if you you probably don't know much about my background with bowling but uh my junior and senior year of high school i was on the bowling team that's when i started bowling so that was 2011 yes this or next month will be 10 years i've been out of school I don't want to think about it. But anyway, five years after that, I did it competitively. Uh, well, I kind of did it competitively in school too. Uh, but that's when I really got serious and won some tournaments. Um, I, I was pretty good. Uh, I know a lot about bowling. So what better way to use that knowledge than to teach you guys how to play bowling on uh, Switch Sports? So the first thing we have to do is like I said, we'll do like a little rundown of like the basics, right? All right, so this is a really low quality photo that I'm using, but this will get my point across. So, okay, here is the pins and how they're numbered. Uh, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? You've seen the ten pin and the seven pin left all the time, and uh, this isn't like a guaranteed strike every time, even I don't get strikes every time, but uh, some gameplay that you're about to see will show you, you know, it, it's not perfect, but I'm trying to get to that perfect game. That's what we're going to try to do today. This is like tips and tricks for really just bowling in general. You can use these in real life too if you want, like this isn't just for Switch Sports, but it's pretty accurate, so a lot of the stuff applies to the game too so as far as the pins itself go this is what you need to know uh until we get over to uh the game so this first pin uh it's called the head pin uh where you hit this either on this side or this side this applies to left handers too i'm right handed so i'm going to explain this in a right handed uh kind of way so let me get my drawer thingy like I said, this is the head pin. This is important where you hit this, how you hit it, and all that stuff. Let me draw. It, this is kind of a weird angle, but let me just draw what I'm about to talk about right now. This area is, is so laggy. What is wrong with this? This area, and I'll say, come on, and this area this is for right-handed oh my god why is this so laggy all right so this is right-handed and left-handed these these spots on the head pin are called the pocket and what you want to do is hit it in the pocket at an angle as much as much as you can so usually if you split these in half this is where you want to hit it if you hit so um i'm gonna do away with this um let's just since we're just explaining this on a right-handed kind of way we are all right let me draw all the way down so you guys can get a good idea of where to hit the ball okay so right here about right there is where you want to hit it that's like the sweet spot so you have the idea of the the pocket. That is the pocket is what I just showed you. The idea is to get the ball to hit the head pin and then to crash into these three, five, eight, and nine. So when you hit the one, the one is going to go that way. When you hit the three, the three is going to take out the six and the ten. Uh, so that is basically explaining a strike. If you hit too far over here and the ball hit like barely tips the edge, 
the uh, head pin is going to go that way, not that way. If you hit the ball too far, like too head on, it's going to kind of mess with the ball and it's not going to hit one of these middle pins uh, or, or something. It's just kind of like split everything and nothing, you're not, the pin action is not going to be very good. And I'll talk about pin action in just a minute. Um, so that's where you want to hit it. That's your sweet spot. Hitting it, um, get a, a probably about right there of the head pin, and that will shoot all those away. Your ball will hit the three, get those away, and then you should be hitting the five, eight, and nine just fine. When you leave a 10 pin, that means you hit the head pin to head on. I guess that's what you could say. You hit it in the middle too much. Um, depending on where you are standing on the boards will depend and how much hook you give it. It'll depend on where you hit the head pin. Um, so getting the right amount of hook every time and all that stuff is crucial to hitting the pocket perfectly. So now let's jump over to the TV and I will explain all my other tips. These tips aren't numbered or anything. Um, I'm not... This isn't like a set number of tips that I've uh, wrote together. This is unscripted. So like all this stuff is just from my memory and what I remember from bowling for so many years. Um, haven't been in a while. I, I went not too long ago, but whatever. Let's get over there right now. All right. So now we're over here at the TV. Um, I don't know how this setup's going to be. I don't know how much you can see. Don't forget your wrist strap. Number one. Number two, look at this amazing picture I took about a year ago. It was in my backyard. Um, I have a whole photography YouTube. You guys can check it out. I haven't put anything about that picture up on there yet. I, I don't know when I'm going to do it. But we're going to go over to bowling, obviously, because that's why we're here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can... Once you get into it a little bit, you can pick three sports to search for so you're not waiting so long. But obviously we're just going to do bowling. Um, I did one uh, match on here that was pretty good. Uh, so this is kind of slower. Uh, this is, I, I can explain everything that I'm doing. But the main thing I'm going to show you is uh, not really about like bowling in real life, but... Um, exactly how to bowl in in this game took me five frames to figure it out uh yeah it's a lot of fun let's do it usually in wii sports you would hold it up like this because that's what you do well um, when you're about to bowl you hold the ball like this or like this so you start out like this um instead of having your controller like this flat put it to the side this this is not for real bowling like i said um some people do bowl like that i don't know how they do it but that's how you're gonna bowl in wii sports i'm um, switch sports um another thing is you don't have to let this go this button you don't have to let it go at all <clears throat> so in switch sports instead of Doing it like Wii Sports, like you bowl and then kind of like turn your wrist to hook it. That's what's called hook, not curve. Instead of doing it like that motion, like the game tells you to, hold it like this and just bowl like that. I'm about to show you. All right, so if you hook it right, depending on what, how you have it like that, um, I go right here. And you're going to get all the hook you need. Don't let this button go. And there you go. There's a strike. If you don't want as much hook in the ball, you... So I did it exactly like this. If you don't want as much hook in the ball, tilt it a little bit this way. Still do it like this while holding down um, the... was RZ, ZR button. Um, hold it down the entire time. Do not let it go, or it's not gonna it's not gonna let you bowl. Um, it's kind of different than um, so Wii Sports, but like this, I'm gonna do it again. Never let it go. Then you can let it go once the ball releases. There's another strike. 
We're going for 300 as well. So, yeah. I don't know about right this second we're going to go for 300, but uh, I mean, if it happens, it happens. Right now, we're tied with AJ. Who's AJ? I don't know, but we're tied with him. So if you want to not bring it out as much, um, you can have it a little bit like slanted like this and you won't get as much action on the ball. Um, another thing I was gonna talk about is the pin action. So doing this whole thing, turning it however, will give you pin action. Spinning the ball, well, how it spins like that, how it gets um, the pin action, um, just hitting it in the pocket isn't good enough. How much spin you have on the ball will kind of make the pins go everywhere. That's another important thing in real bowling and in switch sports, how to, how to get a strike, right? Um, it looks like a lot of people hasn't figured it out yet, but this is why I'm making this video so you guys know. Um, I'm not gonna go for 300 because I really need to get, uh, I need to get a 10 pin stood up or seven pin or something. I'm gonna try to go for the 300 right now. Um, we're winning by 10. He he missed. That is my beautiful me that I made uh, a long time ago. Right now, I have no reason not to go for a 300, so let's go for it. Come on, don't hit high. Okay, perfect. We left the pin up, and I just did the exact same thing. So, a lot of you will do this, right? Well, that's not right go across the lane at an angle, kind of point it to the right, and then give it the same amount of hook, you're gonna get it every time. If you do it straight on, and you're trying to hook it, however, there's a big chance you're gonna go into the gutter, right? That's not how you do it. Well, I mean, you can do it the way, if it works for you, it works for you. I'm not telling you this is how you have to do it. This is just the best way to do it. When you're doing it like this and you're just trying to bowl it straight on, that's, that's actually harder than what I'm showing you right now. Way harder. There we go, there's another strike. Yeah, so doing it how most people do it is harder because it's not, it's not guaranteed it's gonna go straight every time. You might have the, the controller like this or like this and it's gonna hook a little bit. You, you don't know. See, this person, they're gonna miss because they didn't go across the lane. That is, you will never throw it in the gutter if you're going across the lane. I wanna get a 10 pin so I can show you guys um, how to get a 10 pin because that is like one of the most common uh, pins to leave up. We're on a streak right now. This is really good. Um, you'll see my first match that I did uh, probably today. I'm gonna try to upload as much as I can. Hope you guys are liking this. Like the video, share it. Share the video with people that suck <laughs> so they know how to bowl. I'm not trying to make everyone good, um, but my first goal is to make a 300. It doesn't have to be online. It's just better because I can go slower and it works for me when I'm going a little bit slower. Uh, but yeah, we are, we're having, we have a pretty good lead right now. So really like that's the, that's what I just talked about. Those are the main things you want to know. Those are the main thing not that you want to know. I know you want to know it. That's the main things that you should know. <clears throat> um, literally I got it today cause today it, it just came out. So let me show you something else. So if you don't want to hook it as much, leave it like this. You're not going to hook it as much. Oh, sh well, actually, that hooked it even more than I thought. Hmm, that's weird. There you go. So I, I guess if you want to hook it harder, 
hold it more slanted. I thought the more you held it this way, the harder it would hook. I mean, it's hooking pretty hard. It's working for me, at least. Um, so usually this is, usually this board right here, the second to the last uh, dot or the um, arrow, that's where I, that's where I bowl at in real life. Like that's where I'm standing at. Oh, damn. So that pin that could come in and, and hit the other pin down for a strike, that is called the messenger. And when you have a lot of pin action, you're not gonna have one of those if you don't hook the ball. If, you don't, if it's not spinning, that spin makes all the pins go crazier the more spin you have. And that's going to give you a better chance. Okay, so if you wanna look cool, do it like this. Ah, so, okay, I see. So if you hold it, so if you hold it more slants a little bit, it's gonna have more hook. If you don't want as much hook, do it up and down, just like that. Nice. See, every time I'm getting consistent uh, reaction from the ball. So when you spin the ball, this isn't, this is a little, this is thinking a little more realistic. When the ball is spinning, or so when you're right-handed, the ball spins that way. If you're left-handed, the ball is spinning that way. In real life, um, you'll have different oil patterns. Um, the oil patterns is really important. It's not important here, um, but I'm, I'm not sure what oil pattern they're using. Um, so if you didn't know from the line, the foul line, to the head pin, that's 60 feet. Um, that's important to remember because sometimes you'll have a 45 foot uh, oil pattern, sometimes you'll have a 55 foot, but when your ball is spinning and it grips onto the, the part that doesn't have uh, any oil, that's what gives you that hook. Ooh, almost left a 710. So that's another thing I'm gonna do. After 300, I'm gonna get a 710 split. But see on my spares, I'm putting it just to the right of it and I'm putting it straight up and down. Here's another. I was gonna, I was trying to see if it'll leave me a 710, but that's a challenge on its own. Just leaving a 710 split. I think we won that one. 223, there we go. That is um, my tips and tricks for switch bowling, switch sports. Um, hell yeah, that's another one. That's my second win, that was my second time playing. So that is, yeah, that's how you do it. Like the video, um, subscribe to my channel because this is just one of many videos I'm gonna do of switch sports. And, you, and if you win, you get a ton of points. There we go, we got 118. That was how much I got last time. Let's see what I get this time. Something good. I don't know what those things at the bottom are. I actually like that, but I, I have to use a, their me, I guess that's what you call it. I'm using my me. <laughs> I don't know. That's the end of the video. Uh, see ya.